Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. In today's video, we'd like to share with you some cleaning and maintenance tips on your HVAC system. As you can see, we're not in the studio today. We're actually on location in a new neighborhood. There's lots of construction going on in the background, so you may have to put up with some noise. Because this is a brand new unit, we shouldn't see any surprises. But we do want to show you how to access particular components in here and what to look for and how to address them. Now before we begin our maintenance check, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the unit. With most HVAC units, you'll typically find a disconnect switch located close by. Now the exterior unit of your HVAC system contains the condenser coils. These coils are wrapped in aluminum fins to allow heat dissipation. Now we need to have good airflow through those fins for proper and most efficient operation of the unit. So depending on your location, whether it's dusty or not, will dictate how often you'll need to inspect those and clean them. To access them, we simply need to remove the exterior cover and use caution not to damage the fins. Now once we have all of the access covers removed, you can then get a good look at the fins on those coils. And we want to use caution in working in that area that you don't damage those fins. Once you damage those fins, you reduce the amount of airflow that can go through those coils and therefore reducing the efficiency of the unit. And you should only clean these coils with water and never under pressure. Now once you've cleaned and inspected the coils on your unit, the next thing we'll need to look at is the drains. There are typically a number of drain holes in the bottom frame of that unit. If it's up high like this one, you can easily look underneath and clear them if necessary. If not, you'll want to remove the small access panel on the side and view them from that angle. And normally that access panel will be close to where the coolant lines are, and we'll want to use caution when working around those. Now with that access cover removed, take a good look in around the base. If there's any debris in there, you can vacuum that out, again using caution around those fins on the coils and make sure that those drain holes are nice and clear. We'll put the access cover back in place and seal it up. Now that we have the exterior unit complete, we're gonna go inside and have a look at the evaporator area. Now that we've moved to the inside, we're ready to have a look at that evaporator. So typically that would be in the plenum area of your furnace. We'll need to remove a little access panel and then we can get a good look at that coil to see whether that needs to be cleaned. So then carefully remove that cover. Now with the cover removed, you get a view of one side of that coil. We want to look for any signs of a buildup of dirt or debris on there. And if there is some, you'll need to remove the rest of the access panels. And then those can be cleaned with just plain water and allow it to drain. We next need to look at the inlet air filter. Now typically your air filter is located in the return air ductwork. Simply pull that out, and if it's a cleanable type, typically you would just wash that with warm water, either in a sink or with a garden hose, allow it to dry, and then reinstall it. Once we've done that, we'll put the cover back in place, and we're ready to start the system up. Thank you so much for watching. We certainly hope that the tips we showed you today will come in handy when it's time for you to do your annual HVAC maintenance. And hey, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.